Hi guys, welcome to another video. Hope you're all keeping well. Uh, now, uh, this is the moment uh, you, you've all been waiting for because uh, I said in the uh, last video I was going to do a, a big uh, pickups video showing off all the horror DVDs and Blu-rays uh, I've got for the month of January. Uh, I was going to do it at the weekend, but I thought to myself, well, I'll do it now. Like you know, I mean, I've got me, um, I haven't really got much to do tonight, so um, but you have, have to excuse the glare, guys, because I've got my ring light on, and as I say, I'm doing it night time and that. So, um, so without further ado, let's just get straight into it. I've got uh, quite a few. Um, quite a few DVDs here I'd like to show you all and then I've got the Blu-rays there so we'll go we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the DVDs first okay right okay so my first pick up the first pick up is a movie called Amityville Vampire now I don't know anything about this movie at all I saw it online and that so I thought oh I'll, I'll snap that up and that yeah so uh, it basically from what I can gather it's basically sort of like combining the Amityville a horror story with a vampire tale and that. Um, I won't spend too much time talking about talking about each film, guys, now because I've got I've got quite a few to get through. But uh, there's the back cover, guys. Isn't that a uh, fantastic cover? Very Hammer esque, yeah, yeah. And uh, from what I can gather, um, this movie is has got shades of Hammer, Hammer in it. You know the Hammer horror vampire movies, yeah. So I'm looking forward to watching this one. Amity Vampire, Vampire. The first is the case. That's a fantastic cover, that guys, yeah. So, uh, so there you go, that's the first one from 2021, and that was the Amityville Vampire. Okay, next DVD I'd like to show you guys is a horror anthology movie. I don't know anything about this movie, but it, it's apparently each horror story is based on um, you know, a particular holiday of the year, like Christmas, Easter, Valentine's Day, and so forth. One of the directors of Tusk, Dracula Untold, and that is a movie called Holidays. Yeah, so as I say, uh, it's a horror anthology movie, uh, and uh, each story is based on, um, as I say, a particular time of the year. So I'm uh, looking forward to watching this one uh, from 2016, and there's the back cover there, guys, if you want to have a look at that. Yeah, I don't think there's a movie been done before, uh, an, an anthology movie featuring uh, horror stories uh, pertaining to a particular time of the year, yeah? So there you go, and as you know... I just all know I love my horror anthology movies, so I thought uh, I'd pick this up. Gone for a song as well on HMV in Liverpool. So there you go. There you go. That is holidays. Next one up is oh, I love this again. Uh, another new vampire movie. I absolutely love this cover, guys. Uh, don't know too much about it again. And it's a movie called Red Snow. Just look at that cover, guys. Isn't it eye catching? Yeah. So this is apparently this is about um, a vampire romance novelist. Novelist Olivia Romo, uh, she spends spending her holidays alone um, in this uh, sort of like um, wilderness, uh, in a snowy wilderness in this uh, cabin and that. And she apparently she encounters vampires and that. So it sounds pretty good, yeah. And there's the back there, guys. Yeah, again, apologise for the glare, guys, but I say I've, got, I've got my ring lights on, yeah. So there you go, that is Red Snow. Great cover. Here's another snowy setting one, and as you all know, if you've been watching my videos, I love me horror movies with snowy settings and that. Being, being very much a winter person rather than a summer person, yeah. This is a movie called Winter Skin. It was only released last week. Apparently it's about some sort of uh, creature in the snow. So I'm looking forward to watching this one. Winter Skin. Yeah. While hunting in a snowy wilderness, Billy takes refuge in a seemingly abandoned log cabin when he suffers a, sh suffers a shotgun wound to the leg. Inside, kind and cookie lone inhabitants, old lady Agnes is keen to nurse Billy back to health. But Billy soon learns this is no ordinary cabin, for he and Agnes are stalked by bloodthirsty, bloodthirsty skinless creatures, yeah. So, yeah, so I'm looking forward to watching that one, guys. Zero degrees, zero escape. That's winter skin. Next one up is, I watched this the other night, actually, and to be quite honest with you, I was very, very disappointed with the, uh, not only with the, the, the picture quality, but also there was a lot of cuts made in it, uh, and that is a movie called Silent Madness. Uh, I'll be getting the Blu-ray of this and that. Yeah, I was very, very disappointed because it's a great film. Uh, but as I say, uh, the picture quality left a lot to be desired. And I have since discovered, uh, since I've watched it, there was quite a few cuts made in this. Yeah, so I'm going to order the Blu-ray. Yeah, very, very good story about um, a psychiatric patient. Uh, he gets uh, he gets released like wrongly. Yeah, um, so, uh, so there you go. That is Silent Madness. That's from the 80s. Yeah. I think it's around about 1983, Silent Madness. Next DVD is another winter horror movie. Don't know much about this movie at all. Nobody will hear you, nobody will help you. And that is a movie called 
the Mountain Lodge. Great cover there, guys, yeah? So I'm looking forward to watching this one. The tension steadily ratchets... Rat, rat, the tension steadily ratchets upward. Yeah, so there you go. Another snowy horror movie, The Mountain Lodge. Next one up is... Um, Another one, this is very much in the style, another one horror, this is very much in the style of Reanimator meets Frankenstein according to the cover. And that is a movie called House of Death. Apparently this is, a, this is a chilling modern day Frankenstein tale about a brilliant young doctor who develops a serum in order to bring his dead girlfriend back to life with terrifying consequences. Yeah, so there you go guys. The House of Death. Looking forward to watching this one. Yeah, from 2009, House of Death. Next one up is um, this is a rather this is a kind of a, a a revenge flick involving two rather psychotic girls, um, killing dudes is easy, and that is a movie called Scars. Again, don't know much about this movie. Um, I say it's basically about these two girls who gonna go on a revenge a revenge killing spree against their men. Yeah, so we're looking forward to watching this one. Might be something along the lines of I spit on your grave, yeah. So there you go. That is Scars from 2017. Next one up is one I only got it on Saturday in HMV um, in Liverpool. Um, and it's, it's still got the cover on here from C CX. So um, let's take this off. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that is a movie called Ghost Month. Great cover there, guys. Yeah, and there's the back. Fantastic, yeah. The Grudge meets the Haunting in Kinesicus in this terrifying supernatural shocker. Yeah, uh, it's about this um, about this woman. She takes this house. Uh, she's a solitude-seeking housekeeper arriving at the desert home of a superstitious Chinese woman and a devoutly religious aunt. Death senses an op opportunity to extend its grip into the mortal realm. Yeah, sounds good, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. That is the uh, Ghost Month. Very grudge looking cover there, guys. Yeah. Next DVD up is, is another one I bought in, in Liverpool uh, on Saturday from CX. And that is a movie called Vampire Nation. Again, don't know anything about this movie. Uh, looks a good watch. A bloody mixture of Dark City and John Carpenter's Vampires. Uh, set in Romania, the not too distant future. Yeah. About a vampire population. Um, it looks good, yeah. A precarious peace exists between the two vampires and humans. A peace made possible by the introduction of a synthetic blood substitute dispensed by the governments, making traditional vampire feeding and preying on humans no longer necessary. But even so, it's not a peace as everyone is entirely comfortable with. So there you go, guys. Just got two extras there trailer and gallery. So there you go. That is Vampire Nation. So I'm looking forward to watching this one. Yeah, there you go. Love me vampire movies, as you know. And the last DVD up is a, a, a it's actually a British TV show that was shown um I think it was around about the early 70s. Yeah, 1970 to 1973. And that is a series called Shadows of Fear. Now, as you know, if you watch my videos, I love my TV uh, anthology horror, horror series and that. So when I saw this, uh, I had to pick it up, yeah. Um, Shadows of Fear, it's a suspense, suspense anthology with a chilling Hitchcockian touch featuring some of Britain's most renowned stage and TV performers including Sheila Hancock, Ronald Hines, Victor Madden, Edward Fox, Gemma Jones and George Cole. Unsettlingly creepy scripts are provided by Public Eye creator Roger Mar. Remember him? Public Eye Frank Marker. Yeah, Public Eye creator Roger Marshall and award-winning writers Richard Harris, Jeremy Paul and Hugh Leonard. So there you go guys, Shadows of Fear. Three disc sets. Looking forward to watching that. Okay, well that rounds up my DVDs. I'm going to go up without further ado. I'm just going to move on to the Blu-rays now. And again, there's quite a few of them. So the first one I'd like to show you stars a um, very popular female horror actress, Barbara Crampton. Um, and it's it's actually a Shudder exclusive. And it's a movie called Jacob's Wife. I've seen trailers of this movie. Again, it's, it's very much in the vampire vein. So uh, it's about this uh, woman played by, of course, Barbara Crampton. Uh, she gets bit by this um, vampire called a master. And, of course, all hell breaks loose, yeah? So looking forward to watching this one, guys, yeah? Jacob's Wife, and there's the, ba there's the uh, back for you. I love the cover as well, yeah? 
So there you go. That is Jacob's wife. Next Blu-ray up is one of my favourites from the, from the 60s, directed by Roman Polanski, uh, starring Catherine Deneuve. It's supposed to be one of the one of the best horror movies ever made, uh, and that is a movie called Repulsion. Now I did have this on an ordinary Blu-ray, but when I saw the uh, Criterion, I thought I'd snap it up because it's got it's got some great special features on here, guys. Yeah, so um, so I'm looking forward to watching this one again, and it's got um, got a great booklet there inside. I'll just show you, Catherine Deneuve, the female protagonist. She's an absolute fruitcake in this, this character. She really is, yeah. Absolute screwball. But if you've never seen this movie, I highly recommend. It's a very, very claustrophobic movie, you know. Uh, quite a bit of a slow burn at first, granted, but it does, it does uh, take a very, very dark turn as the tension mounts and mounts, guys, yeah. Directed by Roman Polanski. So there you go, that was Repulsion, absolute classic from 1965. Next Blu-ray up is it, uh, this movie, I don't know anything at all. About this, I mean, it's a, it's a quite a rare one. It stars John Carradine, and it's from um from nineteen from nineteen seventy four, and it's called Mary Bloody Mary. Now, when you th when you first hear this, you think you didn't you immediately think, oh, the urban legend Bloody Mary. No, no, it's an entirely different story altogether. Again, I think it's 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 very much in the vampire in the vampire genre. Yeah, about this woman or something. She develops this insatiable craving for human blood. But I can't read you the blurb back, guys, because it's all in G it's all in uh, German. But um, there's rather rudy thing there. Oh, Mrs. I'll have to cover that up. Yeah. Bit of nudity yet. Yeah. So there you go. That is Mary, Bloody Mary. I hope to do a review of that. And maybe a couple of others when I've watched it. Very rare movie, that. Next one up is... Well, I had to get this one. Being a huge, huge fan of the series. I won't talk... I won't talk in any great length about it. I'll just show you what it is. Halloween Kills, the latest uh, movie. Uh, so I'm looking forward to watching this one. I might watch this one tomorrow, actually. Yeah. I've heard it's a kind of a Marmite movie. Some love it, some loathe it. But... I'll reserve my judgments, of course, until I've seen it, and I'll do a full review of it, yeah. So I'm looking forward to this one, Halloween Kills, yeah. Next one up is, uh, oh, now, um, I've heard quite a lot of good things about this movie. It stars one of my all-time favourite American comedy stars, Bob Hope, uh, and it's, it's a rather kind of a haunted house movie, and that is a movie called The Ghost Breakers. Now, I know Brain of Horror Hands likes this movie, so um, I thought I'd get it, like, you know, yeah, I love Bob Hope. Uh, I've ordered the other one as well, uh, The Cat and the Canary, so I'll have a Bob Hope double bill. So when I've watched the two Bob Hope films, I'll do a double review, yeah. He's fantastic, Bob Hope. Absolute legend he was, yeah. So, yeah, some special features there, guys. Audio commentary by author, film historian Lee Gamblin, trailers from hell, and a theatrical trailer. So there you go, guys. That is uh, The Ghost Breakers, uh, and that is from... 1940. Next Blu-ray up is, oh, I'm not going to say too much about this because I've also done not superlatives uh, yesterday when I've done the video review. Mario, Mario Barber's fantastic shock. Got a, got, a, got a great twist at the end. This, it's, a, it's a typical haunted house movie. You know, uh, you don't know what's going on. It's got a good layer of mystery to it. Uh, but uh, I'd recommend you watch me full review of this, uh, what I've done yesterday. This is a great addition by Arrow. Really on the money with the releases, yeah. So if you love haunted house movies, uh, I highly recommend that you get yourself a copy of Shock. It's fantastic. The next Blu-ray I'd like to show you, again, this is a movie I don't think many people know about. It's actually, it's got three horror, it's got three, mo three movies on here. Help Me, I'm Possessed, Night of the Strangler, and Carnival of Blood. And it's a blood aroma, triple fright mare. Just look at that. And as I say, the three movies, Help Me, I'm Possessed. I watched that the other night, it's very, it was very good, yeah. Kind of a quirky movie, it's really out there now about this mad scientist. Night of the Strangler was quite good. I've got to watch Carnival of Blood, yeah. So, Help Me and Possessor from 1974, Night of the Strangler, 1972, and Carnival of Blood, 1970. And there's the back there, guys. Yeah, Blood of Arm, a triple fright, mate. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching the last one, Carnival of Blood. Yeah, it's got a couple of special features there, guys, if you want to take a look at those feature, feature screens. There you go, Blood of Arm, eh? Next one up is another one of boss in Liverpool on Saturday. Got it for eight quid in CX, and that is uh, Antonio Sabato's movie, Seven Bloodstained Orchids, a, a film by Umberto Lenzi. So looking forward to uh, watching this one. I've seen it a couple of years ago, actually, but I forget. I don't remember too much about it, yeah. I think it's a kind of a giallo movie, yeah. 
So um, English and Italian language, yeah. So I'm looking forward to watching this one. Yeah. So that's it. So that is a uh, Seven Bloodstained Orchids. 88 films. Here's another one I got in Liverpool on Saturday. I've heard a lot of good things about this movie. It's so, it's a kind of a superhero anti... Well, he's a kind of a superhero, but he's got like a sinister dark aspect to him. And it's called uh, Bright Burn. As I say, um, this, from what I can gather, it's a, this is actually kind of one of those Marmite movies. Um, you know, you either hate it or you love it, yeah? So, yeah, what if a child from another world crash-landed on Earth? But instead of becoming a hero to mankind, he proved to be something far more sinister, yeah? So looking forward to checking that out, Bright Burn. So there you go. That is from 2019. Next Blu-ray up is one of my all-time favourite movies, supernatural movies. This is, I got this from Amazon Germany. It stars Marsha Mason and Anthony Hopkins. Uh, it's a kind of an um, exorcist-style omen, carry kind of movie. And it's called Audrey Rose... Yeah, so I'm looking forward to revisiting this one. So it's a very, very young Anthony Hopkins. Um, yeah, from 1977. There he is, he's sporting the beard there. So I'm looking forward to revisiting this one. Very creepy movie from what I can remember. Audrey Rose. Next blu ray up is... Well, this is a kind of a... It's a kind of a science fiction movie, but I think it's got horror elements to it. Jerry Anderson, eh, who done all the Thunderbirds, you know, the sci-fi series and that. It stars Patrick Weimark, um, and it's a movie called Journey to the Far Side of the Sun. Yeah, but what, what hooked me on this movie, guys, I love my doppelganger stories, and this is supposed to be about, like, a doppelganger. It's got a do doppelganger element, because this astronaut or something, he goes up, up into space, and he, he, he lands on this planet, it's like a carbon copy of Earth, and all the people are all doubles of the people on Earth, so it sounds an, it sounds a very interesting premise, guys, yeah? So I thought I'd, I'd check it out, yeah, from uh, the late, from uh, from 1971, and I like Patrick Weimark as well, yeah? Um, so I'm looking forward to watching this one, here's the cover, back, back uh, cover, guys, if you want to have a look at that, yeah? Journey to the Far Side of the Sun, love that cover. Next one up is uh, oh, another um, one I just had to get when I saw it. I've never seen this movie before. Uh, it stars John Ashley and Sandra Nice. It's very much along the Frankenstein theme, and it's a movie called Frankenstein's Daughter. I love that black case, and yeah, this is a special edition, yeah. Um, Dr. Oliver Frank's ambition is to continue the experiments of his late grandfather, the wicked Dr. Frankenstein, since he has better luck in the lab than in, in the back seat of his car. <laughs> Doctor, oh, Mrs. Doctor Frank usually turns the women who reject him into fodder for his experiments. Yeah, sounds good to me. Special features there, guys. If you want to freeze your cameras and take those in. Yeah, as I say, I'm looking forward to watching this one, Frankenstein's Daughter from 1958. Next Blu-ray up is another TV series. Now. I must admit, when I first saw this, I was a little bit hesitant because I'm a huge fan of the original series and I, I've heard good things about it, I've heard bad things about it, but I thought, well, I'll give it a go. It's a new Twilight Zone series directed by, uh, well, hosted by Jordan Peele. Um, so um, I'm looking looking forward to watching this and see what it's like, yeah. Uh, I'll just see how it compares to the original brilliance of Rod Serling's Twilight Zone, yeah. I'm not building my hopes up too much because, as I say, um, I've heard I've heard a few bad things about this, but then some other people like it. I'll give it a go anyway, and I, I might do a review of it when I've watched it. So that's the new Twilight Zone. Two more Blu-rays to go, guys, and these are both the um, premium premium collection from HMV. The first one I'd like to show you is a movie I, I enjoyed very much when I watched it uh, online. It stars Julie Christie, uh, and it's a movie called The Demon Seed. Now, if you if you if you haven't seen this movie, I can highly recommend you check it out. Yeah, uh, Julie Christie plays Susan Harris alone in the house when suddenly doors lock, windows slam shut, and the phone stops working. Susan is trapped by an intruder, but this is no ordinary thug. Instead, the intruder is a computer named Proteus, an artificial brain that has learned to reason and to terrorize. Yeah, fantastic movie. Uh, very, very much like in a, in a technical in a technical vein, yeah. Um, and it is the back there, guys. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. I've wanted this movie in my collection for some time, yeah. So I'm looking forward to revisiting this one, yeah. 
So that's from 1977, and that is the Demon Seed. Right, so we're coming to the last Blu-ray now, guys. Uh, and again, as I say, it's a HMV Premium Collection. Uh, I've never, well, I've seen this movie many, many years ago. Uh, I must admit, I'm not too keen. I think I've said this before in a previous. Year, I'm not too keen on on the uh, the John Carpenter remake, the modern version. But this is the original Howard Hawks, the thing from another world. Yeah. So I'll check this out and that, and if I like it, I'll keep it in my collection. One of the great sci-fi classics, still a masterpiece. Yeah, Arctic researchers discover a huge frozen space sling inside a crash-landed UFO, then fight for their lives after the murderous being, a pre-gunsmoke pre James Arness, emerges from icy captivity. Will all the creatures soon follow? The famed final words of this film are both warning and answer. Keep watching the skies, yeah. So there you go. That's the last Blu-ray I'd like to show you guys what I picked up in January. And that is Howard Hawks the Thing. And that's this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, guys, showing off me uh, me pickups for January. Um, as I say, quite a few days to get through. Uh, and as I say, um, say hope you, hope you all enjoyed it. Have you seen any of these movies? Leave your comments down below. I'd be very interested, you know, to you know to hear what you thought of them. So uh, I can't wait to get stuck into them, yeah. And the ones I'll, you know, ones I think merit a review. I will do a review of them, yeah. And um, so, so there you go, guys. Yeah, the usual. You know, if you if you like the video, please feel free to share, subscribe, comments, and uh, all going well. I'll talk to you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.